Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2, as of the 10th of October, which was yesterday in my region, has now reached its end of support and end of servicing. And that was with the final patch Tuesday security update, KB5031358, which bumps up the build, as we can see, to 22,000.2538. So that's the last build that version 21H2 will be receiving. And if we scroll down, we can see uh, that Microsoft has issued a reminder that some editions of Windows 11 version 21H2 are at end of service today, October 10, 2023, which as mentioned was yesterday in my part of the world. These are Home, Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstation. After the 10th of October, devices that run these editions will not receive monthly security and quality updates. These updates contain protections from security threats. So um, at the end of September, with the last optional bug fix update, that was the final optional update, and now the final Patch Tuesday security update rolling out. So if you are still running version 21H2, it's time to make a plan and move on. And as you may recall, version 21H2 rolled out on the 5th of October uh, in 2021 and has now reached its end of life and end of servicing so that's um with the update 5031358 now just to go through a couple of the key highlights that this final patch tuesday update for windows 11 21 h2 brings to the table and first of all um it addresses security issues for windows and very similar to what i've been posting on um in the two previous videos today Windows 11 version 21H2 has 75 vulnerabilities that have been fixed, 12 critical. All those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities, which are a common uh, exploit in Windows and almost get patched from a month-to-month -month basis. And there's also three zero days during the rounds, which um, those are exploits that have already been exploited in the wild. And that means that those security issues are currently out there and happening if it's a zero day. So very important security update nonetheless, rolling out for version 21H2. Now, over and above um, the security fixes, um, the security update also includes improvements that were part of the optional bug fix update, KB5030301, which was the final optional bug fix update that rolled out um, at the end of September last month. So as mentioned, 21H2 now has received its final bug fix update and its final security update. But nonetheless, um, those improvements will be carried over into this update. And I did post a video on um, that optional update and I'll leave that down below. But a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Uh, it completes the work to comply with the GB18030-2022 requirements. It updates uh, the daylight savings uh, time changes in Greenland. It fixes issues affecting sharing an Excel file as a PDF in Outlook. And it fixes a memory leak um, as well. And that was an important memory leak. And a memory leak obviously is a performance issue where um, the OS was using um, excessive memory over and above what it should in a certain aspect. And that has been patched. So that's an important fix that rolled out. And it also includes other bug fixes. But as mentioned, go check that uh, video out. I'll leave that down below. It will give you a little bit more info. But just bringing it to your attention, KB5031358, the final security patch Tuesday update rolling out for the original release of version 21H2. And that means now that that version of Windows 11 is now out of support and has reached its end of life. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.